came with great sadness that we came to this crossroads, but we had no choice. We are the victims here. We are being victimized by a very greedy entity. I am shocked by the way the people that we have been in business with are treating us. I cannot believe it, quite frankly, how far apart we are on so many things, how they plead poverty, that they're losing money left and right when giving hundreds of millions of dollars to their CEOs. The entire business model has been changed by streaming, digital, AI. This is a moment of history that is a moment of truth. If we don't stand tall right now, we are all going to be in trouble. We are all going to be in jeopardy of being replaced by machines and big business. Who cares more about Wall Street than you and your family? It's this AI, it's the no money, it's the no residuals, it's the disrespect. Come on now, we paid how much money to be in this industry, right? We all have degrees, some of us. So we should all be compensated, right? We're acting, asking for more pay and equal, you know, we're asking just to be paid more, especially with streaming services and um, it's not that much, but just for equal opportunity. I actually make less money working in film than I did in the year 1990. And it's very important that we can live, look at my shoes, <clears throat> but I'm telling you, it's really scary with the artificial intelligence. And I have one thing to say, if you want this voice, you got to pay for it. At a certain point, you have to just say, who's going to determine what our value is? Well, look at these thousands of people. Right. We're determining what our value is. And you know who else determines it too? The audience. Yes. The you, audience you who are. comes out and they love us and they want us to do more and they want, they want to engage with our characters. And I think if you were to ask them how they'd like to divvy up the pie, they'd say at least a little 2% could go to all the performers. It's high time that we drew a line in the sand and say we're not going to take it anymore. And we are fortunate. We're in the front lines of this battle Hello. because we get so press like here. you to Good hear day. this no grievance. Way. But it's not unique to us. Workers everywhere around the world are watching this because it's happening to them too. And until you're there and not in your ivory tower making a hundred million dollars, you don't know what it feels like. Well, obviously we're not happy that we're on strike, but I am really pleased with the level of support that we've been getting, not only, of course, from our members, who had already voted 98% in favor of a strike authorization, and so many of them have spoken out in support of what we're trying to do on their behalf, but really, the general public and the community at large, I think our message is really resonating with them. And the fact of the matter is, there's a lot of people, even beyond our membership, who are kind of fed up with big corporations trying to just run roughshod over everybody and not treating people fairly. And this is a perfect example of that. And uh, I think there is a huge resonance. So we're excited to be out on the picket lines today. I think there's going to be um, a big impact from that. Oh, that's the hand grip.